before we take a look at this beautiful little Leonidas, I want to give a shout out and a word of thanks to Alex at wristclassics.com, the uh, website that I sourced this watch from. Alex was fabulous, and uh, I would not have this watch if not for him finding him on the internet, and it's frankly fabulous service out of Germany. So this is Alex's website, and uh, look at these watches, some beautiful, really beautiful watches here and some pretty great pricing too. Uh, these are all pretty much vintage. Here's our little baby over here. Uh, he worked with me on price and you know I, I negotiated a little. He was very kind, thoughtful, but excellent service after the sale, which is absolutely key, especially when you're dealing with vintage pieces. You know, this is my first time working with him. Just, I found him on the internet. And so of course I had questions about the watch and he answered them all. I even asked for a quote, <laughs> proof of life photo, which is where you ask a seller to send a photo of the watch with a particular time on it and date stamp. And he didn't bat an eye, he sent it right over. Uh, so clearly uh, a great seller. And uh, you know, especially when you're working overseas, uh, it's important to vet sellers. And I would not hesitate to buy from Alex again. Alex, if you happen to see this video, thank you so much. Uh, just giving a quick little look-see through uh, your website here for any of the viewers. Magnificent watches available from him. He's got a pretty interesting story too, if you read his bio and how he got into vintage watches. And he was great. Fabulous service, fabulous shipping, and I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much, Alex. And here we have it, the Leonidas Hoyer Pre Carrera. Been hunting this rare bird for a while. I, of course, admire the Hoyer Carreras. However, they are very, very expensive. And if we look back through the Hoyer heritage, Jack Hoyer is a strange, a strange guy in the watch industry, uh, beloved by some and not so much by others. Very, very strange history, and uh, Leonidas factors into that. I was trying to do some research on the brand relationship and couldn't really get down to the bottom of it. What it boils down to is Jack Hoyer wisely discerned that there was a lot of competition in the um, you know automatic mechanical watch space, but not as much competition in the chronograph space. So he took his family's company into that direction and part of that involved Leonidas and uh, somewhat gobbling up the brand and choking it out. Whenever they partnered or whenever uh, Hoyer took over Leonidas, took on everything about them and then at some point the Leonidas name just started disappearing from the watches. This particular piece you might consider a transition piece in that while it is Leonidas branded on the dial, the movement itself, you can't see it, but I have a picture of it that I showed earlier, is co-branded. And it is a Landeron 248 uh, movement, chronograph movement. And it has Hoyer and Leonidas, Leonidas on the movement. And I like the Leonidas brand. I'm not sure if, you know, Jack was... Uh, squashing out competition by gobbling them up but I'm also not sure where the Leonidas designs fit into the history of the Hoyer designs particularly not only this model but also uh, the Bund uh, Bundeswehr watches where it seems that the Leonidas CP2 predates the Hoyer 1550 SG I just don't know I, I want to research that more but it's a gorgeous watch and thanks again to Alex from Risk Classics for sourcing this and, and working with me on it. It's the thing you have to be careful with these older chronographs is the condition of the movement, functionality, etc. Plus on this particular brand or on this particular model, you gotta watch for the loom plops and general overall dial condition. And this one is a stellar example. Just gorgeous, that's why I had to jump on it. Now, it was not the model I originally wanted. I originally wanted one very similar to the Carrera with these pump pushers, 
but here we have the rectangular square pushers, which I am getting used to. It's This is the first time I've owned a watch that has those. I think from an, a case design aesthetic, it, it's actually far smoother and more streamlined than the pump pushers that you know perhaps we're used to. I'm not 100% on this watch strap for it. I love this watch strap. This is a collar reb. Uh, gorgeous strap, but I don't know that I care for the, the design itself for this particular watch. So I'm trying to hunt down a rally strap, you know, the one with all the little holes in it, and no two stitches. I just, I don't know if I'm going to go with the Fluco or another brand. I'm trying to find actually a vintage Hoyer strap. That come in at like 250, 300 bucks. And granted, it includes the buckle, but there's no indication that the buckle is legit. But also, it's Hoyer stamped buckle, and this is more of a transition piece. And I'm, for me personally, I'm looking to celebrate the Leonidas brand with this purchase, so I, I'll probably go with the Fluco. But it runs incredibly well. Let's, let's get her powered up. Buttery smooth. And boy, the chronograph action is just very, it, it snaps. It's everything you want in a vintage chronograph. A lot of these, since they're chrome plated, you'll see if you look, if you track the use listings, have a lot of wear, particularly on the lugs. And this one is in, frankly, new old stock condition. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous watch. And, you know, if I end up doing some more research into the relationship between Horror and Leonidas, we can come back to it. I think one of the things I have hesitation about the Hoyer relationship with others is the release of the Hoyer Pasadena, which is pretty much a knockoff of my most beloved watch, the Porsche Design 7176, which is, you know, one of the challenges I have with appreciating the Hoyer brand. Got a couple other Hoyer watches, though, that I'll probably do a little video on. Long, long-aged brand, storied brand. I just, I don't know what the business relationship was when Jack was, um, you know, gobbling up Leonidas. A gorgeous watch and one worth uh, chasing down if you are so inclined. This is a glimpse of it on my six and a half inch wrist. Fits me perfectly fine. Love it. Thanks again, Alex. All right, hope you uh, enjoyed this little trip through the Leonidas pre Hoyer Carrera. Enjoy this hobby of ours. All right, have yourself a great one.